the we sun have seen in the universe. Like the creator. Yeah, you have seen in the universe where people who reach the point of absolute detachment and devotion, they become within the dimension of their existence, the sun themselves, that they radiate back. Every single soul has the capability to become a star. This is what's going to happen to it when it leaves your physical body anyway. It depends how much you get rid of the weaker strength outside for the stronger, which is the sun, to appear. So uh, we don't become sun worshippers, but we understand the sun is within us. And if we can strip all of it off, a soul can be bigger than the sun. Because that's how the sun started. And that's then how we can the start to feed. Started. And then we can actually Pardon? feed, then we could actually feed the sun if our, if we became larger than, you know, more of a field strength. We become, doesn't need to be larger. You have to become deeper strength. Don't forget, even the sun has a condition of matter state. It has reached that matter. That's why it's there. If you can become our, our soul, which is the sun, in the strength becomes a state of us, which is matter, matter state much faster because of the structure of the, <coughs> the brain. I explain this in a very simple way once to children in the classroom. Maybe it's, it's very similar to it. Uh, you know, you, is, you have a teapot and you put a hot water on it, in it, and you leave it on the table. After a while, very short time, it cools down because it gives all its energy out. If you put a heater in it to continuously keep it boiling, it gives all the heat the room becomes up because the, the heating heats the water, water heats the body, and then you become a central heating more But what happened when you put that teapot and you put some blanket on it, cover it? It takes longer, it releases the energy slower, and then you have longer tea. It's the same with us. We have a physical blanketing of our brain in our sun the center. And so we cool down in so many ways, faster rays in a smaller distance, and we contain it, and we call it like a blanket, where the sun is actually has no blanket, it radiates all the way through its own structure. And this is what the difference is. The brain of the man and the sun has a gap of a few billion kilometers, where the soul of the sun is in the center and the soul of the man. We still shine. When you go on the sun and look at the man, and you can see the soul of the man, that soul still shines, the same as the sun. There's no difference if you put uh, hydrogen on top of the sun to create more, or you put a blanket, which is the body of the man or the brain of it. Still inside it, there is a sun, and it shines. And as I said in one of the intros, seven million stars, seven billion stars, this planet, and more. If you can see beyond dimension of physicality, this planet is a shining, sparkling stars of billions, trillions. You just don't see the soul of the man. You see the ant, which man is not aware of, it has a soul, it still shines. You see the spider in the ceiling, it still shines, and you see the bird flying over. This planet is a shining star through the soul of man. It's just that we attach ourselves too much to the physicality. And we made ourselves blind to the reality. 